What's going on guys? I think you know by now what's going to happen in today's video. Finally about time I'm upgrading my old subs into something more than just okay. Thanks to the team from Sydney Hi-Fi in Castle Hill hooked me up with this beast which is the Crix Volcanic Subwoofer. Not one but two of course which will be replacing my Clips SW350 and the Sub 10. I'm excited, let's open these bad boys up. We'll quickly hook them up and hopefully show you guys a little demo. Even though it says to give it about 20 hour wearing time, but nah, we'll skip that for today. Now I'm sure some of you guys know this, but Crix is a home theater company based in South Australia, manufacturing high quality commercial grade speakers, subs, and much more since the 1980s. Now I'll be honest, at first I wasn't too sure about these subs. My mind was always heading towards something like the SVS PB16 Ultras, but once again it came down to my budget and I decided to keep the new upgrades in the Crix family and of course supporting the local business. But I've been hearing so many good things about these subs and in fact some people rate them more than the 16 Ultras, so I'm really keen to hook them up and find out what these bad boys can do. I chose this specific wood grain color because I think it blends in nicely with my room. It also comes in black ash, Atlantic Jarrah, walnut and I think blackbird. Wow Z, check this out guys, it looks insane. Cricks, you've done it again mate, well done. Let's take a closer look. This sub is 506mm high, 400mm wide with a 470mm deep. One thing that did it for me was this awesome digital control feature which can be adjusted to suit the lighting conditions in the room. Got your power LED on and standby light which can be set to auto sense or 12 volt trigger. Menu back and forward push button, your up and down setting and the digital screen showing menu items such as volume, low pass, phase adjustment, high pass cue etc. This feature being in the front instead of the back of the sub is so convenient there is no longer any need to pull your subwoofer out of a cabinet or away from a wall to set up your system. All functionality is accessible from the front panel interface. To its side we have a base reflex flared vent and then of course the 12 inch paper cone driver with a 2 inch long throw voice coil developed for high level low frequency reinforcement. Turning around there's not much to it and then at the back you have a control such as your 12 volt trigger input light, line level stereo input with summing function. For those of you that don't know what this is, it allows you to combine multiple input signals to the main channel. Then is your high level inputs for use with amplifier, speaker outputs and lastly the power switch socket. Now this beast is rated at 900 watts maximum instantaneous power hitting maximum SPL levels of 125 dB. Thanks to its low distortion Class D ice power amplifier which generates far less heat than conventional amplifiers and therefore requires no bulky external heat sinking. Hence why the cabinet is made from 18mm MDF board with a veneer finish only weighing in about 23 kilograms. Underneath the volcanic sub features soft rubber feet to stop unwanted vibration being transmitted to the floor. I think that's about it for today's unboxing part anyway. I don't know about you guys, but I like giving my equipment some names. So what can I call these twins? Let's go for Beavers and Butthead. <laughs> Sounds a little lame. I don't know. What do you guys think? In fact, shoot me a comment with an awesome name for these two. And in my next vid, I'll do a big shout out to the person with the coolest answer. And now it's setting up time. Okay, so very easy stuff, no work required at all to hook these guys up. I'll be using my existing RCA cables and later on the week calibrate these bad boys properly and maybe get a mini DSP for some fine tuning after some butt kickers. Comparison with the two, you cannot even compare. Huge difference. Definitely hands down creaks for the looks. And now let's power them up and see how they do with some tunes.
I am blown away. All right, guys, I'm going to clean up around here. I can't stand the room being this messy. Thank you guys for watching and supporting this channel week after week with the comments, likes, shares, and the emails, messages I've been getting from some of you. It's crazy, and it truly means a lot to me. If you haven't seen my LCR speaker upgrade, make sure you check out that epic video which changed my whole experience in my room. That's a wrap for January and wait till you see what's coming out for February. Woo -wee! You guys are gonna love it. Make sure you're subscribed, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, join me on my Discord server and stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be very interesting. I hope things are getting better wherever you are. Stay safe and I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Peace.